Hello, good people. We are back at Sip, Fine Spirit, and Cigar. Today, I feel like we should do something uh, along the lines of, oh, been wanting to smoke this thing. Vengeance by Kristoff. Let's go smoke it up and see what it tastes like. Okay, we're back. Sip, Fine Spirit, and Cigar. We're in the members' lounge. They let me in here today. I appreciate that. Um, here we are today with Vengeance by Christoph. Um, cigar first came out in 2004 or five under, uh, I'm thinking, Rocky Patel and Nesta uh, Placentia. So, um, and uh, Christoph brought it back at last year's IPCPR cigar show, trade show. Um, I'm excited to see what this is going to taste like. Um, so let's get it cut up. It's got a nice little pigtail. Um, I like to cut it deeply myself. So that's what I'm going to do. In a Calibri deep V cut, one of my favorites. Uh, on the nose, I am getting, man, it's wonderful. I'm getting chocolate, uh, dark chocolate. On the wrapper. Um, wow. On the foot, which is closed, by the way. Mm, not a bad thing, but I'm getting uh, hay in the loop. It's not a bad thing. That means the cigar was well, well fermented. Anyway, let's get it lit up and let's smoke it. Like I said, it's got the closed foot, so it should be easy to light. I'm still going to toast it a little bit. Mmm, aroma's nice. Right away, I have cocoa. Right away. I have spice through the nose. I have spice and cocoa right away. Um, nice medium uh, body. And smoke output is pretty decent right now. Um, so I'll tell you what, right off the bat, this cigar seems like it's going to be one of my go tos. Um, this cigar is Connecticut broccoli, which is one of my favorite beefs, uh, wrappers to smoke with. Um, combustion is pretty good. So I'll tell you what, we're going to get into the first third, and uh, I'll come back shortly and give you some words on what I'm tasting on this day. Alrighty, we'll be back. Yummy. We're back at Sip, Fine Spirits and Cigar. Um, smoking uh, Vengeance by Kristoff. Um, 
very dark noted cigar, cocoa spice in the first third, and uh, also chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of sweetness. Can't describe it, maybe it's no longer. So, this cigar is, like I said first, it is a Connecticut broadleaf. Um, the binder is Indonesian. Um, filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican film. I said that twice. So, about 35 minutes into the cigar, about 40 minutes into the cigar. So it's a pretty long smoke. Um, the ash fell off. Well, really, I knocked it off accidentally. Um, nice white ash. The construction is very good with the cigar. Um, as you can see, nice, even burn line. Uh, had a little blooming at the uh, foot of the cigar, the ash. Um, very well constructed. I'm partial to broadleaf wrappers, so uh, those go pretty good. Also brings up a uh, out of the nose. Maybe maybe it's a citrus and spice or something like that. So uh, could be some. Um, so, it's Christoph, first third, I like it, we're going to get into the second third, and I'll let you know if there's any changes, and uh, we'll be back. We're back, Christoph Vigens, this was a Toro in size. Uh, second, third, full body. Um, started getting coffee bean notes. Coffee bean and also uh, chocolate. Um, chocolate all through the cigar, actually. But coffee bean is prominent. Um, and uh, that's why this coffee that I was drinking it so well with this. So, here at SIP, uh, Fine Spirit and Cigar, we'll be pairing this with a beer called uh, Peanut Butter Porter. Actually, one of my favorite beers to drink here. Um, I'm going to be pairing this with this Kristoff uh, this week. So come in, get the pairing. It's going to be very nice. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, like I said, the notes, first third, cocoa, cinnamon, chocolate, second third, pretty much the same. But we also have coffee bean uh, on the back end. Um, through the nose, Spice is still there. Um, no pepper, spice. And um, I like this cigar. Uh, well constructed. <coughs> the uh, ash holds on pretty good for about an inch, then it, comes, it falls off by itself. Um, like I said, well-constructed cigar. They did a pretty good job with this. Um, tell you what. It's not too complex. That's possible to be too complex, but I like complexity. 
but it pretty much stays uh, balanced and uh, stays with the same notes basically all the way through up to the second third. Uh, through the second third. Uh, I expect probably through the last third, it's probably going to ramp up. Uh, this is full body, probably medium strength. Um, smoke output. As you can see, thick, rich smoke, full body smoke, and uh, the flavor is full flavor, medium in strength. Uh, pretty damn good cigar. And uh, I'm going to smoke down this last third, come back with you, and final thoughts of this cigar. So we'll see you in a minute. We're back. Christoph Vigent. Uh, Toro. Size of Toro. Down to the last third. Actually finishing the last third. Very good cigar. Uh, just as I thought, the uh, flavors and notes pretty consistent all the way through. We had at the first third, we had uh, cocoa, uh, cinnamon, and we also had uh, chocolate, dark chocolate. Uh, second third, still cocoa coffee bean and milk chocolate that was the sweetness that uh, I was getting second third and also um, cocoa as well um, also for the last third we had the same thing uh, flavor and the uh, body and the, uh, got to full strength as I thought it would do. Um, through the nose, we still have the spice. The spice is still very prominent. Um, very good cigar. So, when you come in and sip, find spirit in the cigar. Uh, Preston Pick, get the cigar. 10% off if you mention the Preston's pick. Um, also, I'm going to be pairing it with the uh, peanut butter porter. Uh, very good beer. Smooth. Um, it's going to pair very well with this. So that's going to be the pairing for this week. Come on in, get that. And also, if you just buy the cigar, be 10% mentioning the Preston's pick. Um, very good cigar. Christoph, they don't really publicize a cigar. It's probably one of their best cigars. Um, I like it. Uh, of course, I'm a big fan of Christoph. Um, Broadleaf, wrapper, Indonesian, binder, Dominican, and Nicaraguan fillers. Uh, it's a very good cigar. So, come on in, sit fine, spirit, and cigars. Try it out. Try it out with the pairing, I suggest. And uh, our next cigar. We'll be back with you to uh, see what we're going to review and try out. Till then, have a good day.